It's getting started with CQ Charters out of Neal Bay. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. We got Fred, Wicked Lord. It's going to be a good day. See you later. Take care. James. We got James, buddy. James. I'm Fred. It's James. We got, we got Fred on the boat here. It's a spectator. We got Brian and Fred. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. Today we're catching coho salmon off Washington's coast out of Nia Bay with Captains Rob and Amber of CQ Charters. Then Mike brings us some Catch Us Lake kokanee trolling highlights. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by your Inland Northwest Toyota dealers and the Fishing Hole and Sports Shop. Looks like it's going to be a good day. You saw the whales when we came out. Pretty excited to be here. Keep watching, we got a lot of action. Yep, yep, right there. Right there. Put that other hand up here. That hand up there, there you go. Keep your chest up. Big fish in mind for today. Oh, it's over on the way down. James can't even get to it. They'll be gone by then. Fish on right behind you. So on the way down, the way down, got it. On the downrigger. Yeah. I think there's some fish out here. Yeah, I got one on here. I think there's there might be a few fish. Yeah. Little shake. I think that's a smaller one, 
too. We need, we need a couple big Nita Bay Kings on. Oh, that's a good one, actually. This is amazing. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh yeah, that's a good fit. You woke up when you got up there. Right there, now you just back off the rail here. Let me oh. net so I can net him. Back up, back up. He's still there, he's running right here. We can't, no. that's not a respectable knee of a fish. If we hit him, we'll go to jail for beating kids. Spice keeper, though. They're just beautiful out there. Yeah, right. Wow. Oh, on the surface fish. Surface fish right there. Oh, I saw that. Trying to keep her gear in the water, and they're not letting us get it down to the big fish. <laughs> Hand it before we can get out. Right. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun how that one went. We got a little something different back there, don't we, guys? Yeah, just the wicked. It's a wicked here, that's it. A wicked and a little three-quarter ounce cannonball. So that was your surface rod on a cannonball. And you're target we're targeting silvers with that, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. that's a nice fish there. Decent rod. Woo! Bite something. <laughs> Gotta keep. I'm still getting my boat legs on her. A lot of times those fish are gonna take you over top of the downrigger. If that happens, just go right over top of the downrigger poles and we'll, we'll net it right over here, buddy. See right here? We'll net it right in this area. Sometimes they'll let you go up the back of the boat and that works good better, but little silver's kinda out. That's over six pounds. They kinda go where they want. See how he's walking you around? Just let him okay, you got him. That's a real good one. You got him. Oh, he's running. Okay, yeah. Okay, you gotta back off the rail. Go back up off the rail. Okay, go around over top of that stuff. Over top of everything. See that? Yep. There you go. But you can't be next to the rail when I net it. You have to be on the other side of the boat. There you go. Now you gotta go to the other side of the boat now. You see the beast? Jesus. Hey, fish on right here, underneath them. Right here? Yeah, it's on there. There we go, now that's out of the way. Oh, you, go. yeah. you got a fin? No, I got a hatchery fin. Gave you, you got a, a keeper. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Seriously. All time. Fourth time I've been out in the first. Oh time. man, this is nothing. It's going to get wild show here real soon. <laughs> More Nia Bay salmon fishing with CQ Charters coming up for you right after this. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's a pink here. Oh, it's a pink. Wow, that's a pretty good size. That's a nice size. That's a little It seems like they like your lures too, man. Vicious. Piranhas. Insatiable. <laughs> Yep. Nice. That was fun. <laughs> Woo! I like that. Do you like that, man? That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it's awesome. all about. Yeah. Usually Ocean bright pink salmon. Usually we'd have two extra pinks out a year to catch. Uh huh. But this year the pink just didn't have a good return. So pinks are included in the quota, right, Rob? Yeah, yeah they're this included year. in the two fish quota, and we just. If they're not having a good return and they're not that great of a fish, you catch silver to king. Why, why put an impact on the species at all, you know, to let it go? Tell me a little bit about what we got here, because we, I mean, as soon as we put it back in the water, we're going to hook up again. Well, this is a, these are spinner hoochies, basically. These are all custom made. Uh, this is a glow shrimp pattern. I spent Look a couple of years here. designing these, and these are very typical of what salmon like to eat. I mean, you could almost see through it. It's called a ghost shrimp pattern. And so basically what this is, it's on monofilament. And when this spins on mono, it twitches and moves just like a shrimp and a bait fish. So that causes a natural reaction. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started doing this over five years ago in the salt water, just like you're doing. And it's just been phenomenal when the cohort are on a bite. They just cannot leave it alone. Uh, well, we're seeing that already. <laughs> And it's just getting joking. It's just getting started. Right. What do you say we go get some more let's, of these? Let's get after it. Yeah. <laughs> One eighty Rob on this one. I don't know how big it is, but it's a fish. It, it's not as big as the last one, but it's, it's oh, it's oh, starting oh, to fight now. 
Yeah, I'll get one. Yeah, there you go, Rob. Right? Good. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. I put a lot of fish in the boat. I just don't get to catch them. Look at this here. These are so fun out here. These silvers, one after another, after another, after another, you can catch. Oh, no aerial. Nope, I'm looking at it. Any better. Perfect little eater. That's a nice Is that that same fish? No, it's uh, another fish. I just put it back out and put it down. Oh, wow. Put it right over there. We just had a couple good ones on, and we put one good one in the box on uh, on the old blue splatterback Gucci's. What's going on here? <laughs> Walk the dog. Happy nice fish, dog. Hillary. You need the pliers? This one doesn't. This one's small. You guys doubled up here? Yeah, this, this one's is small a though. Bit better fish here. The best place to fight fish on this boat is right up against that window back behind you. That way when the fish gets up, you can net it. Double. It's a king. Oh, yeah. No, it's oh, oh, is it a king? Case. Nice. Oh, nice. It's a hatchery. hatchery coho. Yeah, that's We're the nicest silver of the day. Oh, that's a nice coho. I mean, that usually I like to keep fish right in that range. So. Seven to eight. You know, nine. Oh, here we got triple. Or we got double. Oh, geez, this one's running. There, go underneath each other right here. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Jeez, these are oh, running. you got a nice fish here. Oh my. Yeah. I got one too. Triple! Triple. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, three right. Yeah. Wow, you're you ripping them. You got a good silver on there. Oh, that might be a king here. Yeah. He's running at me. He's running. Really? He's running. Get the gun. He's running right at him. I had my fifth one under the boat. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Everybody's swimming. I'm around the downrigger. Took me around the downrigger. Put it on top. I got it. You guys are dancing. A small king on there. I think that's a small king. Small king, yeah. yeah. Not working. What do you got on rock? A big silver, I think. Who's got it? Here. Wow, look at this coho here, you guys. Still this? Coho. There's a king here. Yeah, the 24 inches. So, and this one we don't. This hatchery. That's right. That's a dandy. Nice coho right here, guys. That is a nice coho. Oh, this one's big. Isn't that wild? This one over here is wild. This, one, this here is a nice fish. This is a seven, eight, you know. Seven to nine pound coho, right? It's what you want to catch all day if you're out here. <laughs> Beautiful. Woo! Beautiful hatchet fish. I'm gonna carry it. This is just too much fun, man. <laughs> We're just hooking up left and right. <laughs> Turning into work. This top rod, yeah. <laughs> then we're getting tired. Oh, we have, I think we have eight fish already on the boat. We're we'll looking down real quick here. I think we have nine. It's been chaotic. It's hard to keep track. There's a couple of those are good coho. Three, four, five, six, seven, up eight. Uh oh, don't argue with Amber. We'll argue with Captain Amber. Captain Amber's over. You're deck hand today. <laughs> I'm the captain. He's the deck hand. I'm running the ship. You just keep fishing. <laughs> Alright, one more fish to go and then we are done for the day. Twelve fish almost in the box. One more fish. <laughs> there you go, Joe. Watch Bye. my tip, though. 
My rod's over there. On there. Now, this is some fast and furious fishing out here. These CQ charters, Rob and Amber, they've, they've gotten us into the fish. It's one after another. It's hot and heavy out here. It's oh, hot Jesus. and heavy. Uh, I got a rod problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, we got a uh, rod problem real, here. Real, Rob, real. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. What? <laughs> it's, it's wicked coho with wicked lures and CQ charters. <laughs> Arr, arr. Here. Oh man. <laughs> oh, got another fish on here. I'm saying, man. Where's that? I was trying to tell you guys. It's still on. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, we get. Oh, that's oh, a nice one. Nice. We got another one there. Ah. Uh, we got another. Yeah, fish in the net. Here we go. Killing the silvers out here today, man. They got them right on top of the fish. We got the right gear, right conditions. It's awesome. Look at those things. They're, that's a beauty. It's a beauty fish. There you go. Oh, he's going to jump right in the water. <laughs> this jerk. The, the fish are jerking a little. Hey, we're wrapping up our day out here in Nia Bay with CQ Charters. A lot of fun today. Special thanks to Wicked Lures. Yeah, they're, 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 those Wicked Lures for Coho, they're just second to none. They, they, they kill them. Like, one after another, after another, after another, all day long. A lot of fun. Thanks for getting us on some bottom fish, too, since we got done with those silver so quick. I know that's not what you usually do, but I appreciate it, Rob. Yeah, no problem. Hey, we're checking out everything. We just got into Nia Bay here. It's a little bit late at night. Checking out this cool place we're staying at called Goodnight Irene's. We found it on Facebook. It's a vacation rental style place. There's not a lot of lodging options here in Nia Bay. So I was excited to find this and it to be available for this trip. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, Mike Carey here with Northwest Fishing Reports. Welcome to Lake Cachas. We're at elevation of approximately 2200 feet and we're going to be fishing this lake today for the first time. I'm with my son James and his girlfriend Jenna. So sit back, enjoy the scenery, and let's go get some fish. The boat launch is located on the north end of the lake. It's a beautiful concrete ramp, um, and end of August, it's still uh, covered with water, which is kind of surprising because Clee Ellen would be really drawn down at this point. So we have a beautiful calm day out here. As I said, we're going to be targeting Kokanee. So I think we'll start here on the north end of the lake and then uh, see what's shaken. And if no luck, we'll head down towards the dam. We're going to be running standard Kokanee gear today. We've got Dodgers, little hoochies, little attractants on them, and of course, can't forget the corn. I like to put two pieces of corn on my inside hook, so it looks like that. I leave the trailing hook free with nothing. We'll run this back about 20 feet on the bottom line, and we'll drop the steep one down to about 50 feet. We'll go uh, 35 to start since it's early. For our stacking rod, we're going to use a double D dodger set so that it sends the dodger out to the side of the boat. And then I've got a little spinner set up underneath here. Fish on at 60 feet. work on that netting later. So, never know what you're going to find when you're fishing a new lake. 
That's not a bad fish. Jenna did a great job catching it. <laughs> this guy measures in just at 12 inches. One thing of note, you can see he's a little on the skinny side. Not surprising, high elevation lake. They don't feed quite as well. Beautiful fish though. We're just gonna hoist them. Just give them a hoist room and yeah. oh. wow, this lake's got some kokanee in it. We just hooked into a big fish. This is not a kokanee. Now this lake has rainbows, cutthroats. It also has bull trout, which are protected, have to be released. So we'll see what we got here, but there's a lot of weight on this fish. It's a good fish. I don't know what this is, but it's a nice fish. Here we go. Come up, James. Oh, that looks like a bull trout. So we're going to handle this guy really gently. Yeah, that's a bull trout. So, these fish look a lot like lake trout if you're not uh, familiar with them. But there are no lake trout in Klee in catches, it's all bull trout. So I've got a knotless net. We're going to handle this guy gently, as quick as possible, get him back in the water. There he goes. Oh, Safe and sound. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool fish. Welcome aboard, fish. There we go. <laughs> in the boat. <laughs> Another nice uh, 11, 12 inch kokanee. In past videos, I've shown you a kokanee stacking technique using a shower curtain uh, clip. And I want to show you one of the things that you can do using this technique that allows you to keep your line in the water just a little bit longer. And what that technique is, is that if your bottom line gets bit and you catch a fish, you don't have to disconnect the stacker line at all. When you bring the downrigger weight up, reel in the stacker line at the same time, and that shower clip will come along to the top of the surface of the water and you can just leave your line clipped in and it's all ready to go. So now you're going to clip in your deep rod again, bring it back down, and of course you'll loosen the drag on your stacker line and that clip, shower clip with the weight will go back down to where you want it to be. So you don't have to disconnect and release the stacker clip. Here's a morning's catch from Lake Cachis. First thing in the morning we fished off of the uh, boat launch just down there in that little area and then we had a lull in the action so we went down to the dam and finished our day there. Pretty good fishing, we got 15 fish. Um, they're running 10 to 12 inches so they're not huge but I'm sure they're going to taste just fine. Uh, we also got that nice bull trout. If you're looking for a lake to go kokanee fishing that you haven't tried before, um, I hope this will encourage you to come on down here and check it out. It's really pretty scenery, very secluded and uh, not a lot of boats. We saw one boat the whole day. Good fishing for us and I hope it will be for you too. So we'll see you on the water and online. <laughs>